One day, you will look back on your life and wish you had done better. Most adults still live with the regrets of the choices they could have made when they were younger. But while you're still young now, there are certain things you should not waste your time on. In today's video, I will be sharing five of those things with you. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Other people's opinions of them When I was growing up, people's opinion of me mattered so much that I would go out of my way to almost s-wipe them just so I could be in their good books. I learned to change the hard way. While I was in high school, I chose a department because my friends were in that department. And for many years, I kept pursuing a path that was never suited for me. After struggling like this for so many years and seeing the kind of suffering that comes with pursuing people's opinion, I have learned to never waste my time buttering about people's opinion of me. Don't ever be bothered what others think of you, especially when their intention is to tell you how you must live your life along a path which is not in consonance with your personal makeup. I know young people who study the course because their parents told them to, not because they really wanted to. Don't do things because others say it is right for you. Do them because you're sure it is right for you and suits your kind of person. If you learned this lesson as a young person, you would have overcome one obstacle that keeps most adults caged and frustrated for life. People's opinion of you does not matter if it does not agree with what you believe to be true about you. Someone may think you should be pursuing a law degree when you know you're suited for music. Many young people have followed other people's passions while leaving their own passions behind. Respect others, love them, but jealously guard your dreams and choices that nothing and no one in the world will take them from you. 2. Looking rich instead of being rich I have always said it, better to be rich than to look rich. Each day on social media, a young person poses behind expensive cars or expensive houses, wearing expensive clothes and shoes to take pictures. And most of us young folks can't even make a farting just to save their lives. Listen to this, it is the easiest thing to look rich. It is the easiest thing to cook up some cock and bull story about how rich I am on social media, because somehow, you may never get to find out. So, don't ever be intimidated by those who show off being rich on social media. Instead, don't try to look rich. Really work to be rich. One thing I have noticed about really rich people is they hardly announce themselves. You don't need to say you're rich. People naturally help you make that announcement, often without you knowing. Using expensive phones to impress friends when you can hardly make a dollar to save your life is wasting your life away. Simple. Don't live your life trying to impress people because people's interests change all the time. When they are tired of you, as they are so quick to do, they will move on. Don't try to look rich, work hard so you will be rich later. 3. The need to be accepted In the culture I grew up in, family bonds are very important. As a result, most people have a great need to be accepted. They would sacrifice their goals and dreams for the need to be accepted by the society or a group or a family they belong to. I know people who should be so much but for fear of some religious leaders whom they are submitted to, they choose to remain under. There is only one way I try to deal with this, and it is this way. One day, we're all going to die, and we're going to stand before God to give an account of how we lived our lives. No one is going to be standing there with me to give an account. I can't blame anyone for not doing what I was supposed to do. I will stand alone before God. And so, if that is the case, then I figured I have no business explaining to people why I do what I need to do. You're not obligated to confine yourself to being accepted by people. Because in the real sense of it, it is your life. Eventually, these people will go. You will remain. Your life's fruit at that time will be the consequences of the choices you made and none of those people will bear the consequences with you. Love people, treat them with respect, but give up the strong need to be accepted that you will give up your dream, goals, or your view just to be in their good books. No one should ever apologize for being who they are and living the life they are called to live. Love yourself enough to understand and leave that out. 4. Pleasure and Entertainment I'm not a fan of working so hard you don't ever take a break. I learned this the hard way when, some years ago, I worked so hard night and day, going to bed late and waking up so early, to write all the time without eating properly or resting properly. I did this until my brain froze. I could hardly think and couldn't sleep well for two years, so I subscribed to having a lot of rest and fun after working hard. Yet, putting entertainment before work or wallowing in entertainment is one foolishness that will not only constantly drain your pocket but will drain your life. This is what I think. Young people think they have all the time in the world and so indulge in different forms of entertainment until they discover they are too old to try the great things they ought to have tried when they were young. One thing is true, life is unfair to all, but providence always makes room for opportunities for everyone. At some point, 
we would all have the chance to make something good of ourselves or to mess things up. What we do with those opportunities is what matters. Some will have only one opportunity and will blow it, never to have any more opportunities. Others will have more than one opportunity and will keep leveraging it. Don't waste this opportunity of being a young person on entertainment. Work as hard as you play. Yesterday, I was telling someone that I could sit behind my office desk working 24 hours a day, 7 days a week because I love what I do and what I do is enough entertainment for me. In fact, last night, I went to bed at midnight only to wake up early this morning eager to get to my office. When you love what you do, what you do can also become your source of entertainment. Isn't that better? 5. Worrying about the future If there is anything that is killing most young people, it is worrying about the future. I was at a health center recently and the doctor there was telling me how countless young people are now being diagnosed with hypertension and some are dying from it. I asked her why this is. She said, because of their need to be rich. Come on, man. Don't be so hurried up in your life to be rich. You missed a moment of your life. Listen to this. You don't get young twice. Some young people live so much in the future, they don't even see now. You will only be anxious for nothing and that would lead you to your grave early. This is what I found to be true about life. 99% of the things we worry about never happen. So, I have learned never to worry myself about the future. Instead, enjoy the now. Find work that is so fulfilling you can commit yourself to. If you're doing what you love, working towards a dream you believe you can achieve, there is no point concerning yourself about the future that is yet to come. The future will come, and so be it. Your own responsibility is to prepare for it by doing your best now. Whatever happens, all things will fall in place. Just believe. Rest and enjoy this time of your youth because you'll never be young twice. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.